Hello guys, welcome back. Out in the woods today at the uh, one day shelter builder recently did. It's all still standing and uh, I fancied some chicken. So we're going to do some peri peri chicken, hopefully better than Nando's do it. <laughs> um, I have plenty of wood here from my last camp here so I just need to uh, get processing, chopping down some of that, get the fire lit and uh, we'll start with some of that food prep. It's a beautiful day today and there's a lot of light aircraft going about. So I'm just going to use some of this fat wood to get a fire going. Just scrape some off and light it with a ferro rod. There we go. Right, with the fire taking, it's time to prep a few ingredients. Let's start off with these chilli peppers, I'll do two or three of them. And I will de-seed them because it's not the nicest texture in like a marinade like I'm doing. And I'll just roughly chop these. Got a bulb of garlic here. I'm going to take, I don't know, four cloves. And just get the skin off of those. These I'll also just rough chop up. Go into the pestle and mortar with the chilli and garlic here. To that I'm going to add some peppercorns and some sea salt to help grind it down. And I'm just going to take the leaves off some thyme here. There we go. And thyme to get grinding. Okay, with that almost there, gonna add in a squeeze of lemon juice. pick out some of them seeds. Just finish that off. Now a healthy dose of paprika, some olive oil 
and some red wine vinegar. Just give that a final mix up. Got a small Poussin chicken here because it's just me. I need to take out the breastbone. So I'm just going to use scissors. Do it with a knife. Just tends to be a little easier with scissors. There we go. What I might do is actually just leave it in, just cut it down. I'm going to take that marinade, liberally coat the Poussin chicken, flip it over. Coat the other side. I've held a little bit of this back to the side in a small bowl. I'm just going to leave this for half hour or so while the fire takes properly to marinate. I've got a cool bag to put it in. So I'm going to be using the Biddy Big Q uh, grill today. Always has a lot of interest whenever I use it. Um, the reason for that is because they're doing a sale this month, till the end of the month, a bit late with this video, and uh, they've kindly sent me one to give away to you guys for free. So it's a brand new one, not this one. So stay tuned to the end to find out about that. So if you've not seen me use it before, it just folds up into this cube, unfolds once, twice like that. The whole grill then slides to be wider and you just put the legs at whatever height you want. Love this little thing. Been on a lot of different camps and I've used it a lot. Holds a lot of weight as well. I've had Dutch ovens and all sorts on here. One thing you can't rush when cooking on a campfire is making a good bed of coals. You just need to let that fire burn for a bit and have plenty of fuel. I see it time and time again, like on YouTube, people just out and they just rush it. But uh, just enjoy being out and enjoy your campfire until you've got them nice coals. Saying that, I am hungry. <laughs> it's just time just to pull out some of them coals now. Yeah, everything's breaking down nicely. That's very hot, so I think I'm going to put the grill on its highest setting and just set that over there. Now I'm just going to set the chicken down and do it spatchcock style. I've just put the grill down um, one step, I think it was a little bit high, which is one of the beauties of this grill. Just put on some gloves and flip up the bottom bit of the leg. Just going to give this a little flip and see how we're doing. Get that skin crisping up. Right, time to give this another flip. Just realised I spatchcocked wrong as well, didn't I? I supposed to take out the spine. <laughs> Might put on some more of that peri peri marinade. It certainly smells good, I'll tell you that. I think we had enough oil on it there. There we go. Okay, it's time. I've got a bed of leaves here. And our chicken is done. Right, I can't wait for this to rest too long because I'm hungry. <laughs> Take a leg. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to slice off here. Juicy, cooked through. Mmm. Get some of that breast down there. Oh, it's great. I think I'm going to have to go fingers here. Mm. That is packed full of flavour. And I only left it marinating for maybe 45 minutes. If you did it overnight or something. Ooh. Basting it while it's cooking works a treat. And when you spatchcock a chicken, it just really speeds up that cook time. Much easier to do on a grill. I've got some of that extra sauce here as well. Oh, yes. Well, there's still plenty of light aircraft going over. Still a beautiful day. Um, as you can see, the grill is pretty mucky, but uh, I'll take that home, stick it in the sink for a little soak, and then uh, just shove it in the dishwasher. It's all stainless steel. Well, that was absolutely gorgeous. I was a bit worried for a second it weren't going to come out that well, but other than spatchcocking it wrong, it was bloody lovely. Probably still in my teeth. <laughs> right, like I said, if you want to win, brand new in the box, Biddy Big Q Barbecue, then uh, all I want you to do is down below in the comments, say I'm in or I want to be entered or something like that. Make it obvious it's an entry and uh, I'll do a random comment picker and uh, in a week's time I'll do a community post so if you're not subscribed you probably want to subscribe or you'll miss the community post saying who's won the Biddy Big Q. Thank you guys very much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.